Okay, so today is Friday and it's date night. Yay! So we have planned to go to Mr Mulligan's, which is an indoor crazy golf place. I've heard so much about it through the years that we've lived here, but have never had the chance to go. So I'm super excited to be going. I absolutely love crazy golf, but I might just be a little bit of a sore loser. But you will find out by the end of the night. <laughs> So hopefully it is going to be a really fantastic night and you will enjoy it as much as we will. Okay, so I've just got to Broadway Plaza where Mr Mulligan's is and you can see it just over my shoulder. And I've met with husband. So now we're going to go enjoy date night and we'll show you inside. So hungry today, we're waiting for our nachos to come along and guess what I found in my bag? A caramel wafer bar. So gonna have that right now. These are so good. So we've just finished the first part of the course and he wandered me by eight shots. So two more rounds to go and see who wins. Okay, so game two and he's won again. Seriously? <laughs> it's all to play for now or not. Okay, so we've just finished the third and final game and guess who won again? Champion! I mean honestly, I should just give up playing crazy golf, but I enjoy it too much. So we just finished playing three rounds of crazy golf, we walked past the ice cream stand and had to get some ice cream to finish the day off. So we've got tutti frutti, cookie dough, and then chop chip. I'll let you know what I think. Okay, so what I forgot to mention earlier was those slushies that I was showing you were actually vodka slushies, and I had two. Might explain why I lost all three games, or could it just be that he might actually be better than me? Yes, I am. But he's driving me home. Designated driver. Okay, so as you guys have seen, last night we went to Mr Mulligan's, which is an indoor crazy golf place. Um, it's located in the city centre of Birmingham, just near Ladywood Middleway. So it wasn't really that far for us to go. They have like 12 locations throughout the country, so you may well find one close to you. So the best thing about crazy golf is you don't actually have to be a professional golfer to be able to play crazy golf. You don't have to be able to play full stop, which is amazing for me because I'm rubbish at golf, crazy golf, but I still try and play it. So he won all three games, which was obvious. I kind of did say that at the beginning of the night, except for the only change this time was I wasn't a sore loser because I had so much fun that it didn't actually matter that I lost. Okay, so when we actually got there, I parked up, went inside, met my husband as you saw, um, went straight to reception and we were literally more or less on time for our booking. They gave us the option of having snacks and drinks or going straight and actually playing crazy golf. We had snacks and drinks. I mean, of course, why not? How else are you going to play crazy golf? Um, so we had drinks and snacks, which was really great. Um, they showed us to our booth and it was table service did have the option to actually order from the table as well. So they had the little barcode that you can scan and then you just order it online. Okay, so of course I had the nachos. Um, as you will get to know me through the rest of the videos, you will start to see that nachos is my ultimate favorite snack. 
Um, so if we're going to a bar or anywhere, I will always pick nachos. I mean, even at the cinema, I pick nachos. <laughs> um, but anyway, the nachos here were really, really good. I so enjoyed them. Um, the only issue I had with them was, was they were a little bit small in terms of the portion size. I mean, it was sharing between myself and my husband. Um, so they could probably do with having the sharing portion size made a little bit bigger. Um, but other than that, they were really, really nice and I super, super enjoyed them. So just in regards to COVID safety, we were asked to keep our masks on for most of the time that we were actually in the venue. Um, the only times we probably didn't have them on was when we were at the table having drinks um, and then when we were really quite far away from anyone else that was actually at the venue. Um, the night that we went was fairly quiet, so we were quite lucky that there were periods where we weren't actually near anybody, so I was able to take some pictures without the masks. Okay, so onto the courses themselves. There was three separate courses within the venue. Each of them had 12 holes and they were slightly different space themes. So, I mean, there was a spaceman in one of them. There were some aliens that had some really cool decor and big screens around to really add a great atmosphere um, as you're playing, to be honest. Um, so in terms of difficulty level, the courses are not that difficult. I mean, I did lose all three games, but that doesn't mean it was difficult. <laughs> Um, it just means I'm not very good. Okay, so I booked us to play um, all three courses, which was 36 holes. Um, that came up to just under £30 for the both of us to play. Personally, I think that is pretty good value for money. I mean, I wouldn't say it was a kind of reduced budget kind of date, but we still had a lot of fun within a limited kind of budget. So if you're looking at doing something fun and not having to spend a lot of money, Crazy Golf is probably a good way to go. And I would recommend Mr Mulligan's. Um, the location is great. The atmosphere inside is great. The decor is really good. And generally, it was just a lot of fun. Okay, so I booked us to play um, all three courses, which was 36 holes. Um, that came up to just under £30 for the both of us to play. Personally, I think that is pretty good value for money. I mean, I wouldn't say it was a kind of reduced budget kind of date but we still had a lot of fun within a limited kind of budget. So if you're looking at doing something fun and not having to spend a lot of money, Crazy Golf is probably a good way to go. And I would recommend Mr Mulligan's. Um, the location is great. The atmosphere inside is great. The decor is really good. And generally it was just a lot of fun. Okay, so with Mr Mulligan's actually being based at Broadway Plaza, we managed to get three hours free parking. Um, that is pretty crazy when you think about it because a lot of places sometimes you have to pay £1.20 or £2 for an hour's parking. Um, you do just have to remember to validate your ticket when you're actually inside the venue. They have the machine just by the food kind of seating area. Um, so when you think about the amount of time we spent having drinks and snacks, then we kind of played three rounds of crazy golf. There were times when I was hitting it four or five times. So we were really relaxed and actually taking it pretty chilled. Um, and then to end the night, we had ice cream. So three hours free parking is really, really good. Okay, so overall, based on everything that I've gone through with you guys, I am going to give Mr Mulligan's a four and a half out of five. Um, the only reason that they've kind of lost the half mark there was due to the portion size for the nachos. I mean, if you're going to state that it's sharing nachos, there needs to be enough for the people to share. Um, but other than that, it was a fantastic night. We really, really had fun. Um, I would totally recommend you guys to go. So if you do end up going, please leave me a comment under this video. Let me know how your night went. And if you are actually enjoying these videos and do want to continue keeping up to date with what me and my husband are getting up to and the fun and games that we are going to be doing, then please remember to subscribe.